Hey guys, Q here for Chapter 10 of Uncharted Drake's Fortune on Brutal Difficulty. We are going to be using the cornering technique, the ghost hair technique, uh, the cover fire technique, as well as the weapon exploit for infinite ammo and one hit kills. If you don't know what those are, go check out my hints, tips, and tricks video. Uh, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of Chapter 10. We're going to have a small cutscene and then uh, <clears throat> some enemies. Uh, and for this er uh, for this area, it's not that hard as long as you know where the enemies are. Uh, there's one guy with an M79. Um, uh, one shotgun guy up front, which we're going to see. We're going to be using the cornering method for. Um, or we might use the cover fire. So we're going to go up these stairs here. And uh, I ran up too quickly. There's, Or maybe I didn't. Cool. I'm uh, making sure I'm getting my uh I'm getting my uh my weapon up. I went to switch to the M4 and went crap, I don't have it. So, um <clears throat> we're going to uh, uh trigger uh the shotgun guy and then I think it was a little sketchy, but uh, I'm going to try and use the cornering method here. No, nope, apparently I'm trying to use the cover fire method and toss a grenade cuz he hangs out in that room. Set. And see, it didn't get him, so I used uh, the cover, cover blind, blind cover fire. Uh, next enemy is going to be actually on the stairway, so um, we're gonna we're gonna move into the next room any second now. I, I thought I heard something, so I was making sure. Uh, and we're gonna use the cornering method for the two enemies on the stairwell, uh, which is gonna be here and then a little further up on the stairwell. But what you're gonna notice, I'm gonna get shot from behind, and I have never ever had this happen before. Um, normally we go up to, uh, to take out that, the enemy that's going to shoot me from behind. So I took out those two guys, uh, and then we have to take out a guy on the left-hand side, um, also using the cornering method. <clears throat> and you're going to see me get shot here, and I'm like, what the heck? So I'm trying to use cornering on this guy. I'm like, oh, maybe I can throw a grenade or something. I'm trying to get behind cover where Elena currently is. And she's freaking annoying me. So I'm like, okay. Because the problem is there's a guy down here and a uh, and a guy up top. And so I wanted to use the covering method to try and take at least one of them out. So we got one of them. And then we're going to take out the guy up top there. And see, I got shot from behind. And I'm like, what the heck? There's an enemy above us. But normally he doesn't shoot us until we get up there. So I'm actually going to take him out with a grenade, but I'm going to show you what to do if uh, he doesn't expose himself while you're down here. Actually, I think you can take him out with a grenade anyway. Uh, he's going to be in the doorway up there, and I'll show you exactly where. We're going to go up, and I'll show you. <clears throat> so um, uh, so we're going to try and take out that guy who was up top that we were trying to take out a second ago. As soon as I'm sure that this guy's dead. I'm just trying to... I've never had him shoot me while I was down here. So I'm trying to take him out now. And then get back to... Uh, get back to business. Uh, we, have an, we have another guy down there who ran down the stairs. Um, and is hanging out there. there we go. Actually, that might have been the guy I was trying to grenade. Um, it was a little wonky, but... Uh, as long as you're using these techniques, you should be able to get it. And this guy I ended up uh, using a grenade on. Or trying to. <laughs> I'm using my ghost hair here. Let's see. Am I going to be able to get the grenade up there? I don't remember. Recorded this a couple days ago. I'm like, yeah, let's try that. Nope. So I'm like, all right. We'll use a cornering method with the M4. There you are. And dead. Now, there is a gentleman with uh, with an M79 on the, on the stairs over here. So you want to make sure to corner it uh, before you go up. Looks like Elena actually got him, which uh, which was funny. Never seen that before. But so what you're gonna want to do is go up this stairwell uh, and use your cornering method here for the guy that I said was shooting me from behind. See him there? He's right there. Now normally he's he doesn't attack me until you actually come up here, but for whatever reason, and I took him out with that grenade. So again, it's that first shotgun guy, the two guys down below, the one guy up top. Uh, sorry. Uh, the shotgun guy, the two guys on the stairwell, the two guys down below, the one up top, the uh, M79 guy on the stairs, and then um, the last guy in the upstairs hallway, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> uh, 
Now, I died here, which was really stupid. I, I, I just didn't make my jump correct. Um, but what you're going to do, go ahead and shoot through this uh, this door. And you got to kind of take out the first, if not the first two, you got to take out the first two enemies pretty quick, particularly the uh, M79 guy. Uh, I'm switching. I'm making sure I have my M4. Uh, and then you'll actually see a cut, so I think I end up using my micro uh, for this part. Uh, because when you know, whenever you reach at a checkpoint, sometimes you have your the weapons you came in with. Sometimes you don't. Uh, right now, I'm thinking I'm just giving a little shot, see if I can open that door, seeing if it's a viable strategy to uh, open the door from here and just run across without having to uh, worry about the enemies. But no, <clears throat> so we're gonna trigger the cutscene. Uh, and then we gotta take out the first enemy as quickly as possible. Shouldn't be too difficult, uh, especially if you have a fully automatic. Uh, just kind of and unlimited ammo. Just lay into them. There we go. So I reloaded the checkpoint, switch shoulders, and so we gotta take out this guy and then move directly to that guy and take him out. You gotta take him out quick. And then the third guy is not that bad. So just the three enemies over there, and uh, that's all you need to worry about. There we go. And uh, that's the end of chapter uh, chapter 10. Uh, actually, pretty really short chapter. Uh, we're about to move on to chapter 11, which is easier than you might think as long as you're patient. Uh, as long as you're patient and a uh, little conservative as far as uh, how far you're going out to find enemies. Wait for them to come to you, essentially. Uh, but that's Chapter 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for Chapter 11. This is strate Strategic Gamer. This is the Strategic Gamer. And I hope it helps.